Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In this video, I will show you how to automatically add mods into your ETS2 save for Chuckers MP. Me and my friend Corey created this program. If you like the program, please consider liking the video and subscribing for future content. Anyways, let's get on to the video. First, if you want to head over to your Eurochuck Documents folder and find your config.cfg, if you want to open this in Notepad and search for g underscore save underscore format, make sure the format is set to 2 and save the file. Now that the save format is set, head over to my Discord server. If you're not already in this Discord server, you can join by having a look at the link in the description of this video. In this Discord, you will see a section called Project ALM. Any mod within these sections here, and there may be more in the future, will be compatible with the project. Once in my Discord, have a look for a mod you want to install. For example, I will choose this mod here. So I'll just download the mod. Head over to my Downloads folder and extract the files. Also in the description of this video, you will find Project DLM. Make sure to also download this program and store it. This program will also be available to download in my Discord server. Before we get started with the program, head into your Eurotruck. Once in your Eurotruck and you are in the truck that you want to mod, head over to Save Game, Save Your Game and choose any save. Once your game is saved, open up your console, scroll to the bottom if you're at the top, and take note of these lines here. Once you have took note, you can exit out of your truck or just minimize. Open up Project ALM and open the Project ALM EXE. Once in the program, head over to Add Mod and click on to Open Game SII. Once in here, if you head to your Documents folder, Head to Utrock, head to your profiles, take note of the profile that we were previously on, click on the save and choose the save. Once you have found the save that was from the console, click on Game SII. You should see a message appear saying Game Save Decrypted. This is mean the project is working so far. Next, click on Choose Mod Folder and we need to head to the mod we just downloaded. In this instance, I have stored this in my Downloads folder. Once you have found the folder, click onto this and press OK. You should see mod files have been found. After this, all you need to do is click on Add Mod. Hopefully you should get a success message. If not and have any issues, please join my Discord server and request for help in the Help section. Now that this is done, head into your truck and load your save. Now that I have loaded into the game, as you can see, the mod has been added successfully. You can do this for any mod within the Discord server, under the Project ALM section, so it can be interiors and many other mods. If you have any issues with the program or have any questions, leave a comment down below or join my Discord server. Hopefully you found this video helpful, if so, please drop a subscription down below and like the video. With that being said, thanks for watching.